While in talks over an international incident, the brigadier arranged an investigation into the ghost that delegate Sir Reginald Stiles had apparently met at Otterley House before the delegates arrived for the World Peace Conference. After the doctor drove off in the brigadier's Land Rover to follow some 22nd century guerrilla fighters, the brigadier took part in the conference. When the doctor returned from the 22nd century, the brigadier and unit helped repel a Dalek attack. The brigadier evacuated Otterley House, as sure as Dale Canyon bomb would have killed all the delegates inside, sparking World War III. Whilst the doctor and Joe were away, the brigadier oversaw a captured Ogron being brought to Unit's base at the Tower of London. He became part of the time loop triggered by its attempt to escape using a damaged time machine, meeting the Eighth Doctor during one iteration. After the doctor resolved the loop, the brigadier encountered him and Andy Davidson as they were leaving. The brigadier and the rest of Unit began to find it difficult to remember the master, during an invasion by silver crabs along the British coastline. The doctor deduced these were sealed, and were causing everyone to forget the master by what he called, time fade. The doctor decided he had to spring the master from his prison at Durlsden Heath before the sealed got to him but his time ran out and the brigadier had to have the raft blow up the prison. In the aftermath the doctor seemingly disappeared which caused Lethbridge Stewart and the rest of the unit team much sadness at the loss of their friend. However, some time later the doctor turned up again, without the master, but having dealt with the time fade. The master also showed up to gloat, but once again unit were able to successfully arrest him and take him away. The brigadier and unit found themselves attacked by a fascist version of Earth. The brigadier first employed Ian and Barbara Chesterton and, reluctantly, the master to help combat the infiltration. The brigadier, Joe and the doctor encountered space hounds who wore metal suits, which started pursuing them. The brigadier killed one by shooting it with a bazooka. When he faced Colonel Ash, the brigadier held his revolver in his left hand, despite usually using his right. During the investigation of Arthur Aulis' disappearance, the brigadier led the defense of Unit HQ when it was besieged by Omega's gel guards. During the crisis, he was astonished when the second doctor arrived to help and entered the TARDIS for the first time. When Unit Headquarters was transported to Omega's antimatter universe, the brigadier remained skeptical they were in a different universe, claiming it looked more like Cromer. He found Mr. Aulis and together they explored the barren landscape, reuniting with Benton, Joe and Tyler as they escaped Omega's palace. When the two doctors struck a deal with Omega, they were sent back to Earth with the brigadier saluting the doctors as he departed. Back on Earth, he mourned their loss with Joe. After the doctor returned to Unit HQ, the brigadier ordered Benton to do an inventory to ensure nothing had been lost in the antimatter universe. Some time later, the brigadier attended a party in Geneva with the third doctor, thrown in the doctor's honor on the occasion of the United Nations giving the doctor an award for his role in saving the World Peace Conference earlier in the year. Game. Lost in time, the brigadier pointed his gun at the mentor, telling him to put his hands in the air. The doctor assured the brigadier that the mentor was a second-rate imposter. The brigadier worked with the doctor and Joe to stop the master stealing the crown jewels. On Joe's persuasion, the brigadier had unit investigate global chemicals. His investigation was nearly curtailed when Global Chemicals went over his head to the Prime Minister. After the crisis was over, the Brigadier attended the party where Joe announced her engagement to Clifford Jones, with Lethbridge Stewart toasting the happy couple. The Brigadier and the Doctor spent Christmas Eve together, as neither of them had anyone else to be with. The Brigadier invited the Doctor to a scientific research center to find out what happened to the leading scientists that had vanished there and returned the scientists home. Investigating a new theme park run by the Paracon Corporation, the doctor persuaded the brigadier to try out the new experienced reality grid and found it manipulated the wearer. Revealing themselves to be aliens, Tragen and Freeth, the heads of the corporation, captured Sarah Jane Smith and took off in their rocket disguised within the theme park. The doctor, the brig and Jeremy Fitzoliver gave chase in the TARDIS and eventually arrived on the planet Paracon. However, they ran into Tragen and Freeth again and escaping into the mountains outside the main city, the brigadier led the Kimanya tribe on an attack of the city using dozens of giant bats to save the day. Dinosaurs started appearing in London and the brigadier and unit had several skirmishes with various dinosaurs. It soon became clear that Captain Yates was working with the people making the dinosaurs appear. 
These were a group of scientists and politicians called Operation Golden Age who wanted to take humanity back in time to prehistoric Earth and start again. At another point the brigadier was relieved of command by General Finch, another of the conspirators, but, having regained command of unit and the doctor having stopped the Golden Age project from going ahead, Lethbridge Stewart arranged for Yates an extended sick leave and a chance to resign quietly. In 1974, the doctor and Sarah alerted the brigadier to the approach of a galactic cyclone that would smother the earth as a poison cloud. The brigadier oversaw the emergency plan to rescue the chosen few after a meeting with the prime minister, but the doctor later discovered that the situation was orchestrated by the Zircon and destroyed the cloud. According to another account, General Maxwell Lennon took charge of the crisis and was informed of it by the fourth doctor and his companion Joan Brown. The brigadier was attacked and possessed by a Remoraxian, a species that wanted to flood the earth so they could live in it. As the world began to be flooded, he acted more erratically, giving orders to reassign unit troops, in a haphazard, unpredictable manner. Liz, who had been brought back to unit to investigate the flooding, summoned the doctor and Sarah to look into this. When the brigadier ordered the Tower of London to be sealed off and flooded, Liz finally decided he was unfit for duty and gave him a checkup. The doctor found the Remoraxian inside the brigadier and built a deremerator to remove it. The doctor, Sarah, Liz and the brigadier went to the nearby unit seabase along with Agent Paul of the CIA. There, the Remoraxian Prime was orchestrating its plot to flood the world. Discovering that the American government authorized the nuclear bombing of Great Britain to stop the threat, the doctor was given 29 minutes to negotiate with the Remoraxians. After the brigadier persuaded the Remoraxian prime that the Americans would follow through with the attack, the Remoraxians left Earth, ending the storms, and Agent Paul called off the bombing. A mysterious cloaked figure then abducted Liz, Sarah and the brigadier, leaving the doctor a single message, say goodbye, doctor. The brigadier, along with all the kidnapped companions, was later rescued by eleven incarnations of the doctor. He asked the doctor to investigate the strange goings-on at the Dow Tor research facility after strange activity there. The brigadier was reluctantly involved in the doctor's research into ESP, attending Professor Herbert Clegg's show with him. He was present in the doctor's laboratory when the doctor invited Herbert for an experiment and lent the professor his wristwatch to test his abilities on. When Lupton stole the Metabellus crystal from Unit HQ the brigadier helped the doctor pursue him, unsuccessfully. A few weeks later, Sarah and the brigadier witnessed the doctor regenerate into his fourth incarnation when he returned to Unit HQ after defeating the eight legs on Metabellus III. Eager to leave Earth for further travels, the newly regenerated doctor did help Unit defeat the K-1 robot before taking off in the TARDIS with Sarah and Lieutenant Harry Sullivan.